and welcome to this week's news bulletin roundup at the International News Channel. Let's take a look at the headlines. Canadians are struggling to leave South Africa after the discovery of the Omicron variant. Unvaccinated travelers under the age of 12 will no longer be able to board Canadian flights. Biden says the Omicron virus is concerning but should not cause panic. Ghislaine Maxwell's trial for abusing young girls is underway. Trade talks between Canada and India continue. Teacher in India builds Taj Mahal replica for his wife. Chinese ambassador warns Canada that they will not compromise on Taiwan. To begin, Canadians who are stuck in South Africa are struggling to find a way out of the country since the discovery of the COVID-19 Omicron variant. Many are not sure what to do since airlines will not accept Canadian travelers, nor are they allowing anyone to do in-transit PCR tests, which are required to enter Canada. Of the people stranded, there are 20 members of an under-21 field hockey team who are unable to return home. Many are renting hotels, Airbnbs, or staying with family, unsure of their next step. In other travel news, unvaccinated travelers over the age of 12 will no longer be able to board a plane or train in Canada. Moreover, a negative COVID-19 test can no longer be used as a substitute for the vaccine for most people. These travel restrictions are following the emergence of the new Omicron variant. At this time, we do not know much about the variant, but the World Health Organization has commented that the risk related to this variant is very high. Meanwhile, U.S. President Joe Biden states that the new coronavirus variant is a cause for concern, not a cause for panic. Biden has implemented new restrictions for traveling from several countries, including South Africa. He has urged all Americans to get vaccinated against the virus. As of now, no cases of the variant are present in the U.S. This variant is a cause for concern, not a cause for panic. We have the best vaccine in the world, <clears throat> the best medicines, the best scientists, and we're learning more every single day. And we'll fight this variant with scientific and, and knowledgeable actions and speed, not chaos and confusion. And <clears throat> we have more tools today to fight the variant than we've ever had before, from vaccines to boosters to vaccines for children five years and older, and much more. In other United States news, Ghislaine Maxwell's trial is currently underway. Ghislaine Maxwell, along with Jeffrey Epstein, are accused of orchestrating the sexual trafficking of girls as young as 14 years old. Prosecutors argued that Ghislaine and Epstein were partners in crime, while Maxwell's lawyer stated that she was being used as a scapegoat. Maxwell is accused of recruiting and grooming young girls who Epstein would then abuse. Turning now to trade talks, India and Canada continue to discuss formal free trade between the countries. The Trudeau government is seeking out economic alternatives to China following years of contention between China and Canada, specifically about Meng Wanzhou and the two Michaels. There have been four consultative meetings over video. At the most recent meeting, which occurred in October, both sides traded preliminary proposals. In other news, a teacher in India has built a replica of the Taj Mahal as a symbol of his love for his wife. The building cost $260,000 to build. It is one-third of the Taj Mahal, but it is made to scale. The marble replica took three years to build, and it features four bedrooms and a meditation room for his wife. The replica is open to visitors during school hours. Lastly, China's ambassador in Canada conveyed his wishes to renew China's relationship with Canada. However, he reminded Canadians that there will be no compromise on the issue of Taiwan. Ambassador Kong Pei Wu stated that his government views Taiwan as an inseparable part of China. Most countries, of which Canada is included, do not give formal recognition to Taiwan. However, Taiwan has a democratically elected governing party and this party does not favor integration with mainland China. That's all for today. You're watching the International News Channel and I am Simone Ivani. Remember to subscribe, like and turn on the bell notification so that you don't miss any of our latest content.